And, you know, normally I wouldn't even come out and talk much about this because, you know, it's just kind of an uncomfortable, unseemly subject. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. That's the biggest problem for children in this industry. The casting couch even applies to children. Oh, yeah. Not in the same way. It's all done under the radar. Nobody talks about pedophilia. It's the big secret. I've talked on the show before about um, how uh, I came to the belief that the people running Hollywood were these insane pedophiles. And then just a few weeks after that last appearance, uh, Corey Feldman came out and uh, the actor and said pretty much what I had been saying, even though mine was just coming from you know, looking at the evidence and not from any personal experience. He, as a child actor, was apparently, again, reading between the lines, repeatedly raped. And I think, you know, we see this and we have to, like, realize that, well, who we're dealing with and what we're dealing with. And it's way beyond the boundaries of, of, um, of things that we can imagine. We can't imagine it because we're not them and they're, we're not as evil as that. No, I agree. I was surprised Feldman came out with that. No one followed up on that. I mean, everywhere no. you look, pedophilia <laughs> is being institutionalized in yeah. our society. That's they have, the point. Yeah, the, the French now have introduced lingerie yep. for little five-year-old girls. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it just, there's no end to it all. Pole dancing kits for five- and six-year-old girls. Uh, Pre-training -pre bra bras for little girls. This yep. is pedophilia. This is nothing yep. less. It's, uh, they're, now, they're institutionalizing it, uh, making it okay. It won't be this generation. But it'll be the next one. Oh, it's very soon. Uh, yeah. They're sexualizing everything to the extent now that little girls cannot Kids get Kids are away. watching it, and their mind is maybe not even seeing it, but it's going into their subconscious. Words flashing on the screen over and over. S-E-X, S-E-X, S-E, you know, nudity, uh, uh, filth, this, all the smut is just coming on the screen. Come on. Oh, those movies are harmless. They're filled with subliminal messages. Who knows what your kids are being programmed? Oh, but you know what? I'm sure that it's only just the Disney. Very slow. This where you reproduce and show clips for criticism, commenting, reporting, teaching, and research of copyrighted material without authorization of the copyright. I'll tell you what's the worst part about television is the is the programming, yeah. the philosophy. Okay, I mean the the manipulating of your mind, the philosophy, the the the, the mentality, the the system of thinking, the ideology. That's what's wrong with television. That's what's wrong with movies. That's where they're really getting in your head. Has Disney been secretly placing sexually explicit subliminal messages in their animated children's movies? And is there a more sinister reason for these messages? I'm John Doe. Let's take a closer look. Closer. Oh! Is that a smoked turkey leg in your pocket or are you just... Wait a second. You can't joke like that, Doe. This is a children's movie. Oh, hey, this looks pretty wholesome. I wonder what the forecast in Africa is today, Simba. Looks like it's partly cloudy with a chance of... sex? That definitely spells out sex. I thought The Lion King was a children's movie. Let's check the poster to be sure. Oh, and how about the poster for Tangled for a little more subliminal advertising? And apparently in Agrabah, good teenagers take off their clothes. And here's Jessica Rabbit flashing some Conejo a la Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct. Still don't believe Disney's peddling sex in their animated movies? I am not making this stuff up, people. That was really in there. And this next one is just disturbing. Although with recent rumors surrounding ex-Pope Benedict, this one seems like legitimate satire. Now, a Disney rep might say, <laughs> to which I would reply, God damn it, give me somebody who speaks English. <laughs> Just one of our Randy animators having a goof with one of his animator pals. But is a golden foot long Jeff Stryker monster dong with a suction cup base really the kind of practical joke that you want on the cover of the video cassette that you give to your eight year old nephew at his Chuck E. Cheese birthday party? I am so sorry, Kenny. No, not unless you are Jerry Sandusky or Michael Jackson. Whoa, 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 whoa. 